First thing you have to do is pop the hood. The next thing you want to do is find the filter. Which in my car is right down here. The orange oil filter. Before you start your oil changing process, you want to go to your local auto parts store and buy a new filter. Along with your filter, you're going to need at least 4 to 5 quarts of 10W30 oil. If you are unsure of yourself, you can always refer to a service manual. You also need this handy filter wrench. Make sure you have your oil pan below your oil filter before you unscrew the oil filter. The oil. Cool. Now unscrew your oil filter. Now you can screw the new filter on. Now that we have the new filter on, we need to get the old oil out of the engine. For the video, we are going to put the car on jack stands so we can get a better view of it. This is a dangerous part. You want to make sure you can get the jack stand under something solid on the frame. Once you get the stand in the right spot, you can lower the stand. Now you unscrew the bolt. Now that you have it draining, you should allow a few minutes for it all to drain out. Once it's done dripping, you can put the plug back in. Now that the plug's back in, we're going to take the jack stand out. Now you want to find the oil filler tube to put oil back in the engine. Now put in the proper amount of oil recommended for your vehicle.
Now that you have the proper amount of oil in your vehicle, you're going to want to start your car and circulate the oil through the filter. Make sure you put the cap back on. Now take out the dipstick and check to see if the oil is between the high and low marks. Make sure you put it in all the way. You can see that it is below the safe add mark, so we're gonna add another half a quart. Now recheck your oil to check if you're between the high and low marks. Good. And again, don't forget to put the cap back on. Oil change is done. Now I need to back my car out and clean up any spills. for cleanup. I always bring my old filters to the recycling center. The reused oil also goes to the recycling.